Alright everybody, I'm going to do more Super Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, the American Doki Doki Panic Edition. Yep, that's the one. Can't be too hard, can it? Did come out the same year I was born. Actually, it's pretty close to when I was born, so I was still in the womb when this game was released. <laughs> Mario opened a door after climbing long stairs in his dream. Another world spread before him, and he heard a voice call for him to be... Uh, free from spell. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby, and to his surprise, he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Push start. Alright, so everyone's gonna get a chance. So, there's, like, 20 levels. So everyone's gonna get a chance. Ev everyone's gonna get a chance, like, five times. It'll be balanced, as all things should be. So, you know take this for granted, but this is a different Mario game. Not to say it isn't a Mario game, because now it really feels like one, because you've incorporated all its mechanics into mario -dom. But, you won't be having fire flowers, no, instead you pick up shit and you throw it at things. No blocks, just a lot of red grass on the ground. For this playthrough, I'm gonna get all possible mushrooms. Well, that's just all of them. There's only, like, two levels in which there's only one mushroom, though. And I understand... Well, I understand why it is for one. I don't recall the reason for the... For one. This pal block kills everything on screen. What if that's imported from Mario Brothers? That's a great question. A question I don't have an answer to. But as for stats, Mario is balanced. You know, he's, he's, he's balanced, you know. He, he balances all stats together. Because he's bowling. He's a bowling motherfucker. He's got a one-up mushroom. Power block. He's throwing cherries. And fucking bombs. Maybe cherry bombs. Fuck that shit, Mario. Alright, Mario. Five cherries get you a star. Because you're a superstar. Mario. I have to use a different voice instead of a Mario voice. Because the Mario voice has no longer become Mario voice. And this is sad. Sad day. <laughs> Does that mean they're going to replace him with Chris Brett? Oh my god, they're going to do that, aren't they? Oh well! Can't say I didn't warn Nintendo. Although he probably... Although, come to think of it, if you think about it, they only use so many words for Mario anyway, so maybe they just don't need to, and they can just copy over his voices forever. You know? Unless they... Oh god, if Nintendo uses an AI to voice Mario, they're going to get destroyed. Not even joking. Wow, I, I just thought of that now. Well, I, I don't know if I can live with myself. Anyway, yeah, I can. I can climb up vines. You know that. They're beanstalks that go into the clouds, bigger mountains on them. Sometimes the mountains growing on mountains, leaving corner shapes to my volition. If you pick up five of those big veggies, the fifth one becomes a clock that stops time. It's pretty good. Sometimes. Sometimes you do need the enemies to actually move, though. So that they can get out of your way. And it, do it's not, it doesn't, like, stop nature. It just stops enemies, specifically. I'm wondering if someone ever ran up to a boss of the star or a clock stop. That must have been funny. This is Birdo. Although, at the end of the game, it's going to say she's Ostrom. No. Really, she's Catherine. Yeah. Nintendo's early attempt at gender inclusivity or what have you. <clears throat> and then we go to slots with the coins we picked up from subspace. And we get some lives out of the deal. I'm not even gonna die that much anyway. This is just because I can do that. Uh <laughs> how, how how much was my total death counter if I was just playing? Like maybe five at most? So, this is all, like, superfluous. Like, I should have more than three lives, okay? Like, that's fine. You get, you get like, over ten, and you might be overdoing it. Yeah, so, I'd say a total of... Total of nine cats' lives. You know, if Mario dreams of being a cat. In fact, that's what it should do. When you turn a cat Mario, you should just get... You should just get eight extra lives. That's how it should work. Okay, now we're Luigi. Luigi jumps high, and he, he 
doesn't use as much friction in his legs. He kind of jiggles his feet around. But you know what? To hell with me getting hit! Look at the shit I can pull off! Yeah, that's right. Fuck all y'alls. Alright, through the door, Luigi. You must grow big and strong. I, I like how when he sh these characters shrink, their head still remains the same size. It is their bodies that have shrunk. In some, like, horrible Ant-Man ending scenario. It's like, oh no, only parts of you are shrinking at a time, you're gonna get screwed. It's like, oh no, yeah. That's how much it hurts us. It hurts us on the inside. Whenever you pick up a key, this Fanto fuck is gonna start chasing you around. And he gives no Fanto fucks. I, he did spook me as a kid. He's a bit spooky in the All-Stars version, because you get to see the background in some of those situations where it goes... It's like, whoa, look out, man. Summon the cause. Do, 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 do. I I'm still kind of sick. I, like, stopped being infected. Um, it's still going to take a little bit to get over. But, hey, you know, it's enough to do this. And and to sort of make sure I do get over it totally, I'll, I'll just do, like, a final exam myself, which I'll just be doing lost levels after this is over. And then we'll go back to whatever it is I was doing. Yeah. Do want to slow down for everyone else's sake. Get that mushroom! Wow, it's like he looked at the map or something to know exactly where it was. Wow, he's so special. I just noticed in the sprite, it looks like um, my hat is becoming one with my face. You might want to see a doctor about that, Luigi. Luigi. Do, 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 do. Do. Though having Charlie Day voice Luigi for the rest of our lives is not a bad idea. I just don't... I'm just not feeling the Chris Pratt Mario. Like, it's the only problem I have with that movie, really. It's just having Chris Pratt voice Mario. It's like, every other voice actor? Fine. Fine, actually. And it's, it's one of those things where if you have a mild opinion on it, Someone's gonna be like, oh no, people who dislike it are suddenly the most evil motherfuckers on the planet. Because that's how, that's how it goes with a lot of things. Like, if you just don't care for a certain movie, it's like, oh, that's because you're just a shithead. And it's just like, no, I just don't like it. You know? That's what happens. And people do that so that... People encourage that way so that the movies get their money. Or else. Three Sniffets. That's how many sniffets it takes to defeat me and get to the center of a candy bar. What's with the coin sprite, anyway? I guess it's a regular coin sprite, but I keep thinking it starts with an I for something. For imagination. The I imagine iPod only coming to I Max theaters. Coming I soon. I need my bonus chances. Especially for people named Chance. They're quite a bonus in one's life. Please select your player. Alright, let's go toadin'. Everybody going toadin'. Going to get some toad kill. Alright, toad's specialty is that he's fast. Super fast. However, his, his jump is also the worst. He's super strong, though. So, yeah. So your toad, your toad issues are just going to be mainly about jumping. Getting hit by enemies, not so much. Or, well... I wouldn't think so. He's a real fun character, I guess. Yeah. If anything, Mario is a, the boring one. It's like, yeah. Look at those fish, they're going up and down. There are lots of trout. I, I, I forget their names, so I'm just going to call them trout. Oh, I don't need to know this fish name. Alright, something I'm not going to do, since I'll just tell you that right now, is that normally, if I was just going to do like, an any percent runner or whatever have you. Uh, go to the right of the door. There'd be a vase that you can't use until you throw a potion near the subspace, and you'd be able to enter that vase in subspace and go to warp zone. There's about four of these total in the game, and chances are you'll skip one of them if you use them. So yeah, if, if yeah, if this is the NES days where warps are just an accepted part of level design. It's like, oh, you want to skip some? Yeah, here's a secret warp zone. Okay. It, it, it makes sense in an arcade sort of sense of way, but it's like, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to skip levels if I don't want to. I 
think having the option to is great, though. So, you know, it's good for... You know, it's good for... It's good for games that do not have save files. So you can just kind of be like, yeah, I did this already. Let me come up here, you know. But I guess that's why they also had password systems. Password and systems. Toad handles the junk that... Toad handles the corpses of his friends. And use them as a toadstool to step on. Including the princess toadstool. He's gonna step on her. Because she likes being stepped on. When your sprite matches the background, you think about your life choices. Actually, no, it does not match the background. Just looking purple today. Hello. It is the Fanto of the Obro. Only one of those is going to come out. Not all five. Wouldn't that be something? Someone mod it so all the Fantos come out to get you. It's like, ah! Or how about just like, we'll say like a Green Demon mod in like Super Mario 64. Make it so that Fanto's chasing you throughout the entirety of every level. That would be something. And then if you pick up a key, a, a second temporary Fanto comes up until you get rid of it. That's my idea for a Super Mario 2 mod. You may hate it, but I think it is an idea. An idea that should be taken into serious consideration. Pow Block is the number one. I don't recall how many enemies it takes for a heart to appear, but you just keep killing things if you're lower on health than you should be. Probably helpful if you have a Pow Block or if you have invincibility or to get this thing back. For sure. In every third level, except the last one, um, when you open the exit, you go to the boss area. The actual boss of the world. And this boss is a mouse. A mouser. He's not German like in the cartoon. I don't know who came up with that idea. But yeah, he throws bombs too. And you throw them back at him, and then you have a bomb off. He bombs you off for some money and cheese. He's also a cool customer. You see, the sunglasses indicate he is rebellious and evil. But why? Why a mouse? Why not a mouse? You tell me. Well, at least we know he has eyeballs when he gets damaged. He's no damage, no. I'm, I'm a damaged mouse. All right, Toad. Show them your strutly stuff. Three hits. And then a door opens to the rest of your subconscious dreams and imaginations. Oh, and use the rest of those coins up while riding. Which makes you wonder why I can get coins in the last level. Which is not even that very many by then anyway, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, so if you like this, you can watch the rest of it. It's not going to be a long series, but it's going to be a little... It's going to feel a little substantial. One of those reasons is that you know, the levels are kind of elaborate-ish. But there's no time limit, so I can kind of not exact... I don't have to rush some of these things that I'm doing. And we'll play as Peach in the next video. See you there. Peach in the desert.